Hi, today because we have Parth Pai, son of Pundalik Vasudev Pai and Anjani Pai. He's been a topper of many exams. He's done well in the KPPY, he's done well in the J mains, he's pretty much going to do well. He's done well even uh, Karnataka CT, he's pretty much a topper at CFL. And the exams are going to come, that's going to be the bits results or the J advance is going to do well. Here I'm in this interview, uh, my objective is that what can we learn from him uh, to do well uh, and what can you learn from him so that you can do well in these exams in the years ahead. So congratulations once again. Thank you. So tell me what was your routine, what are the few things that you did in the last two years that helped you top these all these exams your way? First of all, uh, one of the tips is that uh, we used to discuss in the classes. Yeah, after after every class is done, we used to discuss from five o'clock to six o'clock. Me, Aryan, Shreyas, Vishal, and Megasham and uh, Pranav. Okay. We used to discuss uh, about the problems which we couldn't solve on the day and the problems which we couldn't solve uh, from the reference books. Of course. So we used to clear out all the doubts. So far, there are there must have there are a lot of students who got the same uh, opportunities like you have. Mm. There are things that worked for you. What are the few things that really work for you at CFL? Or do you recommend that they have to be done? Yeah, the, the first thing is peer groups and okay. the second thing is uh, about mock tests. Okay. I gave around uh, 30 to 35 mock tests for uh, JE emails from my CFL mock tests. Okay. And uh, I used to time every math paper, every math uh, previous year papers okay. for like one hour. I used to solve like 20 problems. I have to solve 20 problems and get, it, then get them correct. Okay. So I used to do that. And that, that helped me increase my speed. Okay. Yeah. So most of the students that I encounter are night, you know, so I like to study in the night. What was your routine like? So the classes used to finish like around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And then what was your routine at home? My routine used to be like, uh, I used to wake up early in the morning at around 5 o'clock. Yeah. And then I used to do my course and I used to study for like 2, two, two and a half or two, 3 hours. Yes. I used to come to the class, discuss, I used to attend the classes. And then I used to discuss with my friends. And then I used to go home and study. For like uh, three hours. That was your routine. That, that was my. But are you a morning person? Generally a morning person. I'm generally a morning person. So you would get up in the morning and just study for two three hours. Yeah. And then night time you would spend how many hours? Uh, two hours. Two hours. So pretty much four to five hours a day. Yeah. Was your yeah work routine? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Parth is from Patkal, you know, and one of the surprising thing that is for us is that his parents are either high school graduates or you know or PUC graduates, but both the kids, his sister, um, older sister, is an IITK graduate, and now Parth will probably graduate from an IITK or an IIT or a Bitspilani. The question that I have from him is, what role your parents played in you and, and your sister becoming so successful? First of all, my parents were uh, very encouraging and very, very encouraging to my sister and my, myself. My pa my father was the reason my sister got into an IITK. Like uh, he he gathered all the knowledge regarding that. And my parents were the reason I came to CFL. Like my parents uh, shifted from Batkal, their hometown to this Mangalore for my studies. And they helped, they helped me a lot. They encouraged me a lot for my studies. So, so, so they had, they were very huge. Yeah. So the main role they played is motivation. Yeah, yeah motivation. And sacrifice, pretty much yeah, relocating all the way yeah, to Bat from yeah, Batkal to Mangalore. From, so there must have been a big shift for you mm -hmm. and for your family to move. What of CFL? What are the few things in CFL that is different, and what do you like the most? The few things in CFL that is different is like it. It is not like the usual coaching centers where they stuff with many books and uh, give you give so much pressure to solve so many problems in in the required time and give you many DVDs. Here, CFL was uh, pretty much a bit. It was like an enjoyment. The whole uh, study study process was like an enjoyment. So you enjoy and you learn. You enjoy and learn more. And that was the thing I liked about CFL. So there must have been like some very uh, te uh, good teachers that have inspired you. Can you tell us about? Mm -hmm. Like like the good teachers are like Sri sir. He okay. used to be our math teacher. He used to teach uh, not just on the syllabus. He used to teach the things which are out of the syllabus, which are uh, like inspiring and which are inspiring and encouraging to pursue math field. He used to teach this things which were uh, interesting and uh, and that motivated me to give a math talk as well so part like when i listened to your talk which you had done uh, and i heard the comments from uh, shikhand as well he said your talks on mathematical concepts 
are at the level of what PhD students are. That must be a really big achievement for you to come from Patkar to this level. What drove you so much to pursue math so much at Zebra? The first of all, the teachers, like yeah. Shrikan sir, motivated me a lot, and my friends also helped me a lot. Like my friends used to come up with different ideas, and that helped me to that encouraged me to come up with different ideas as well. And and my practice. Other than Shrikan, who inspired you at Zebra? Other than Shrikan sir, uh, MPN sir. Okay. Yeah, like he used to come up with different ideas in solving the physics problems also, and he used to sometimes motivate us, uh, like like why you should uh, study. Uh, now that you are clear on your, you know, that you're going to do CS. Why CS, and what are the colleges you're looking for at in CS? Like uh, I want to do CS because uh, CS is the growing uh, course uh, in in the present world, okay. other than the other courses. So so I want to pursue CS, and CS is more like uh, math. Which uh, which is more of logic and uh, and etc. And uh, I, I want to do CS in uh, NITs or IITs. And I, in NITs is pretty much sure you're going to get to. Yeah. Now the only challenge is uh, you're going to get to into IIT Bombay or one of the IITs. I the CS. top seven IITs. Yeah. So w- if there are a few things that you want your stu- your juniors to do, uh, if you want to list the top three things so that they too qualify like you and do well like you in the CT, JE, mains, KBBY. All the other exams that are going to come in through the KBBY, what would you tell them? Your, your final message to them. Uh, first of all, is uh, you should have better peer groups, okay. better peer groups, and uh, with the similar minded uh, peer peer groups okay. and the a healthy one. Okay. And uh, the second second thing is that you should have uh, like you should start solving uh, harder problems and uh, better thinking kind of problems from the tenth itself. And the third thing is that uh, you have to put uh, consistent hard work. Like like uh, daily, you should uh, work for it. No, not like you you should take a uh, long breaks breaks in between. You should cons- you should consistently hard work, and then you should try to do this. Like I have to complete so much. You should have a deadline for a day. You should have a deadline for a day, and you have to do that. You have to do so much work in that day. That the few things. In that are the few things. So uh, I would like to thank uh, Parth Pai. And I would like to congratulate his parents and his teachers for helping him get these results. Thank you.